Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks in Chandelar. And today, um, it's episode 22, I believe. And of course, we're still uh, with our green deck. Wow. Just uh, let me fix that volume for you, sorry. Um, let's have a look. I remember last time that I won a lot of battles. I did a lot of like good work. And I think today, I think we're gonna go into one of the dungeons. Let's see. Ooh, a regrowth and a force field. This could be an interesting dungeon. Azar's Crypt. We've got Cave of the Ice Worm with the fork. Ooh, Black Lotus. Any Mishra's Workshop. Wow, this is a cool one. I'm looking, actually, this could be good because it has a Mox Ruby. I want to find the... Hmm, I want to find the green Mox. Ooh, this one has the green Mox. Contains small black creatures. No black cards allowed. Life loss carried over. Bad Moon in effect. West of Hornwell Glade. I think I'm going to go for this one because I want to get that Mox Emerald uh, for my deck, you know. And of course, I'm mainly playing green, so getting the Mox Emerald first seems to make the most sense. Uh, but before I start with my quest, first a message from our sponsor, Three for One Trading. 3 for 1 Trading is one of Europe's leading Magic the Gathering retailers. Their online shop has a fantastic selection of high-end Magic cards, especially for vintage, legacy and, yes, yes, old-school Magic players. They now exclusively offer my community free, fully insured and fast worldwide shipping on all their high-end singles, full sets and out-of-print sealed products. They upload new cards every Wednesday and have weekly sale offers and reductions waiting just for you. Use my code TIMMY to get free worldwide shipping on your first order over $500 or euros. Have fun ordering those cards and thank you 341 Trading for sponsoring this video. Okay, and we are back. So we're gonna go to this one, the Mount of the Warrior Kings. Okay, so it is West of Hornwell Glade. Let's see if we can find that. West of Hornwell Glade. Um, I mean, I don't see it yet, do you? Hornwall Mill. Oh, here, Hornwall Glade. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the Glade, so I gotta move east. Okay, sure. Cards, no thank you, a quest. Take this message north. Gold Snap Keep. Hmm, where is Gold Snap Keep? Oh, all the way over there. No, 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 no. Because we want to go here to Hornwell Glade. So, oh, and someone's at Netherfiend attacking. Okay, so we first got to go. Wait, I'm going to pay. Because we have to free a village. Duel the Netherfiend. Okay, so let, let me think about it. So I'm going to defeat the Nether Fiend, and then I'm going to go to the uh, into the dungeon. Let's play first. Mm. Stop the duel. Um, let's see what I have. Taiga, Crowworm, Cockatrice, Mountain, Disintegrate, Sheep, and Taiga. Okay. Super slow hand, but at least I've got three lands. Hopefully I can find an elf or an untamed wilds. The good news is that this village, I think, is pretty close to where, where we want to go. So that's good. Ooh, Urg Raiders. Yeah, Urg Raiders is pretty good in this format. Um, okay, I can go Ice Storm. And then next turn, I can disintegrate the Urg Raiders. Yeah, Nether Shadow has haste. That's so funny. There are not a lot of creatures in Magic that have haste, but Nether Shadow has it. In old school, that is. Okay, so I'm gonna go this in the grave. I could have gone Fireball and disintegrate on the Nether Shadow because it's removed from the game, but I mean, Nether Shadow is just a 1 1. And I don't want to play like a removal on a 1 1, at least not now. Ay, 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 ay. I do need lands though, like one land and I can play um, Cockatrice. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, uh, I'm going to Ice Storm the Factory. 
And yes, I know that means I'm going to take like three more damage, but hopefully next turn uh, I'm going to draw into a land and play Cockatrice. Also by uh, ice storming away the uh, factory, I'm also saving two points of damage. Oh, okay, so giant spider is not too bad. I can do spider. Oh, a terror. Oh, that's annoying. So I'll drop the 13. Oh, Cormus Bell. Uh-oh. Am I going to lose? Am I gonna, uh, okay, wait, let me think. Uh, let's do fireball. Targets two. Done. I'm just going to kill two lands here. What happened? I think something went wrong. Did I deal zero damage to three different targets? Is that what happened? Okay, uh, I think that's what what's happened. Oh, that is, I think that's a crucial mistake. Uh-oh, I think I'm dead. I think I am dead. Oh my God, okay, uh, choose blockers. I wanna block the big dude. Oh no, I'm just gonna attack again. Oh wow, I lost, oh no. Let's see what I got. Shiva, Lanarels, Lanarels, Disintegrate, Taiga, Cockatrice, Mountain. Okay. That's not too bad. I can go Lanarels. Ooh, but losing that one was bad. Oh, wow. Maybe it's just not my day. Maybe everybody's going to kick my ass today. I mean, who knows? Um... I guess another lot or else, right? Because also I can't disintegrate um, anymore. I mean, next turn I can. Hmm. Let's play just a disintegrate on that. Uh, Vampire bats. Oh man, that fireball, that was, ugh. I, th I think I clicked three targets, right? When I look back at it, I'll probably see that. The idea was to take out two lands. I think that maybe I could have made it with that. Hey, a mountain, that's good news, because now I can play Cockatrice. I mean, the weakness of the deck is definitely when you get a mana screw, which which you know is going to happen at this level in Chandelar. So, yeah, I probably need to balance the deck a little bit more. Okay, a drudge. Mm. You know what? I'm going to attack. Okay. Um... I'm gonna play a badger. If I have one more land, I can play Shivan and Trike. Ooh, Sir Angel. Okay, uh, I guess. I guess I gotta keep uh, Cockatrice on blocking duty. I wonder if, uh, if he's going to attack with the angel. Another one. Uh-oh. Yes, now I can cast Cheevan. 
You know what? I'm first gonna attack with Cockatrice. Let's see what uh, what's gonna happen. Okay, no blocks, fine. I'm gonna play a Shivan Dragon. Yeah, baby. Also really good with the Berserk. I just have to wait for the right moment, I think, and then attack. Like maybe when, when he has like eight, I can pump him to eight. I think, you know what? I think next turn I'm just gonna attack with it. You know, see, see what's gonna happen. Oh, there's a City of Brass, really nice. Okay, um, let's go. Let's just attack with the Sheen and see what's gonna happen. Okay, very clever. Um, one, two, three, and four. Boom. Done. Done. And then we're gonna play the Berserk. Uh, trample damage. I think I can put all the damage on the Vultures. I think this works. Oh no! Oh, look at that! Healing solve! Okay, but I've got the trike. I've got the trike. Uh, somebody told me in the comments that like this old trample rule, so I can, you can put all trample damage on one creature, in this case the 1-1, one, one, then all the other damage will trample over. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, hmm, okay, but now I can, wait, 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 cast a trike, take a moment, please, to cast a trike, one, two, three, four, five, and six, let's deal the damage to the Lord of Fate, yay, we freed the village, and look at that, like, outside there is already a, um, a dungeon, Tower of Wind. Ooh, it's got a black lotus. Okay, it contains small black creatures, no inst or interrupts allowed, life loss carried over. Okay, so it's life loss is carried over, so that's important. So I probably need some life gain cards. Mm, let's have a look at the artifacts, see if I've got an ivory tower. Ooh, I got two ivory towers, nice. One, two, three. I'm gonna actually... Uh, shall I take out the disc? Yeah, I'm gonna take out the disc. Um, I'm gonna take out the City of Brasses because that's not very good. I could also put in a, uh, let me just put normal lands back first. So forest, and a mountain, I guess. I think I'm also gonna take out Force of Nature because it's gonna be a really quick dungeon. Small black creatures, right? Um, do I have... Oh, I could do Drop of Honey. It's going to kill all the small creatures. That would be quite good. Hmm. Difficult. Maybe take out the Ice Storms. Maybe I should just have a little bit of a different strategy. Um, let's put this one in. Drop of honey, although no, because I've got Lana Rails myself. Um, I'm thinking about stream of life because life gain is such an important thing. Let's put in at least one stream. Maybe two stream of lives. Gonna take out the Sylvan. Gonna put in a thicket. Let's take out the hurricane too, because hurricane, I mean, all the things that can hurt you is kind of basically working against you. Maybe I also need like a desert twister. Just gonna add two desert twisters. I think this could, how, how many creatures have? One, three, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12, 15, yeah, I got enough creatures. Um, okay, trade white amulets for white creatures. I don't need that, I'm gonna save. Okay, buy cards, only white cards here. I'm, I'm gonna do it, is there anything I missed? Let's check it one more time. 
Oh, no instants or interrupts allowed. Oh, whoa, okay, so I can just take those out. Let's see, no instants or interrupts. Um, Berserk can go out, let's see. Oh, lightning bolts have to go out. Hmm. That is not great. Uh, let's see if there are any red cards that can help me. Do I have anything anti-black? Well, not in red, of course. It's an allied color. Maybe in green. Do I have Whirling Dervish? Ooh, this is live game. Living artifact. That's fun. Um, uh, maybe Untamed Wilds number four, because my deck is quite slow. Hey, I have Whirling Dervish. Cool, let's do Whirling Dervish. You know what? I'm just going to give it a try. Whatever. Tower of Whim. Bad Moon in effect. Okay, let's have a look. What is the power rating of the Island Fish Jesconicus? It's a 6 8. Yeah. Which of these spells has a power of 2? Earth's Avenger is a 4 4. Earth Elemental, 4 5. Wall of Dust is a 1 6 or an 0 6. Dragon Wall, that's power of 2. 2 3. Yeah. Great. Ooh, another question. Which of these spells has toughness of four? Yeah, ghost ship. I play ghost ship myself, so. It's really nice. If you check the art, the sails have, you can see faces of ghosts on them. It's pretty cool. Uh, okay. I was hoping maybe to get a dice or something, but it's not happening. Hmm. This is a witch, so I can defeat the witch, do another question. Let's do that. Bad Moon starts in play. Play first. Ooh, my hand's not looking great. I mean, I've got a factory into a tower, but that's it. I've got another factory, but no colored mana. No Lawnower Elves. I do have an Untamed Wild, so if I can draw into a forest, no turn one play, please. Oh, God. Uh, at least I'm also gaining life, so that's good. Um, let's go factory. And I guess we could just put them here. Uh, I guess I can attack with this. Why not change? Okay. Oh, wait, the Drudge is, of course, a 2-2 because of the Bad Moon. Oh, that is annoying. Because I was like, I can just take the damage because I'm going to gain life anyway. Um, ooh, Living Artifact. That's kind of cool. Let's change the Assembly Worker. Okay, my plan here is, maybe it's a bad plan, but I'm gonna take the damage from the Drudge. That means two counters on Living Artifact. And I'm gonna gain some life, but I guess I've also lost life then, but. Anyway, I just wanna see how this whole Living Artifact works. Um, okay, Drudge. Hmm, I am getting a little bit into trouble, to be honest. Um, Ooh, I guess if I do Untamed Wilds, I have at least Pyrotechnics I can cast next turn. Let's go get a forest. Let's put the factories here again. I mean, the factory can pump itself, so at least I can block one. So let's change to Assembly Worker. Done, done. Block any effects, it's gonna pump itself. Hey, gaining life! Great. Um, okay, so I have to do that during my upkeep. 
Let's read. Remove volatility count from living artifact. Gain one life. Use this ability only during your upkeep. Okay, I thought it was his upkeep. Um, I am going to cast... I think just a thicket. Just a thicket. I think that's going to work. And if, I mean, if he taps out, I've got pyrotechnics, which is pretty cool. Can kill both the drudges. Can you imagine if Drudge would be a 2-2 for 2 mana with regeneration? That would be sick. Ooh, like this is the moment I waited for, because now I can really hit him where it hurts. Okay, so I'm going to use Living Artifact again. So I'm going up. Let's go Mountain. Pyrotechnics. One. One and two and one. This is what we want, what we want to do. Um, pass the turn. And look at that, the witch is on five, so I can cast cheating. There's like no way to see how many counters are on this thing. Oh yeah, two counters, you can see it here, okay. Oh, so you just gotta click on it to see it. Two more counters, so I've got two more life to gain. Ooh, this is annoying. Um, I forgot to gain a life. That's stupid. I'm going to cast Sheeting Dragon. And I'm going to pass the turn. Ooh, Nevenerals Disc. Oh, that's not good. That is not cool. Oh, this is a problem. Um, oh, wait. I'm going to strip. Okay, okay, okay. This is the plan. Um, I'm going to change the assembly worker. Done. And I'm going to attack with my army. Really curious. Hey, you have to block, right? Um, no, because I wanna, I wanna block the other dude. Okay, so on two. That's a good, it's a good thing. Um, let's pass the turn. That Nevenerals disc is good in his deck. Oh, okay, so if I use it, oh, he's very clever. If I animate, then Nevenerals Disc is going to destroy my factory. Um, you know what? I'm going to take the two damage. What an annoying deck. Uh, okay, so let me think what I'm going to do. I'm going to play a Stream of Life. One, for three. I know it's quite modest. Done. I'm going to animate this one. And then hopefully win the game. And I'm still on 24. I think 24 was my starting number. Uh, what special ab ability does the Phantom Monster have? Flying. Really nice flavor text. Uh, ooh, there's a treasure already. Let's first do the question. Which of these spells requires one black and zero colorless mana to cast? Dark Ritual? Yeah, Dark Ritual. Okay, let me get some backup. Ooh, I get a lot of elves. Nice. Let's go. Play first. I'm really happy with the Lana Elves here because no green mana in hand. So I've got Untamed Wilds, Mountain, Whirling Dervish, two other Untamed Wilds, Factory, and Stream of Life. Yeah. So what's really important here uh, is that my Lana Elves stays alive. I mean, if he if he plays or if she plays uh, a Terror on the Lana I've got an issue, a problem. But if Lanor Elves can stay alive at least this turn cycle, I can cast 
uh, Untamed Wilds get another green and then start casting Whirling Dervish, which is pro-black, super good in this dungeon. Uh, okay, so this is great news. Uh, Untamed Wilds. Let's get a forest. Pass the turn. Two stream of lives in hand, that's quite nice. And now I can do Untamed Wilds um, and also play out, that's quite nice, and also play out the Whirling Dervish. No, oh yeah, no, it doesn't matter, I still can make two green. Uh, forest, Whirling Dervish, pass turn. And then I can start casting my uh, Stream of Lives to gain some more life. Oh, this is not great. Okay, this is not great. Now I need like a cockatrice or something. Ay, 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 ay. Uh, okay, I need to think. Uh, let's just do another Untamed Wilds. Let's just get more green mana. Cast another Untamed Wilds for more green mana. I guess it should get red. Uh, I'm not gonna attack. <clears throat> so this is not ideal, right? Exactly, now he's attacking with everything. So Whirling Dervish on a Drudge, I'm gonna take five, I'm gonna drop to 15. Oh, oh, oh. These witches are pretty good actually, with the bad moon. Back up, no, drain life. Okay, it's only one, could be worse. Um, oh, Pyro, that's really good. Hmm, I think I'm gonna to try to kill both drudges. He can only regenerate one. I think I should do that. One, two, one, and two. Fair enough. Uh, I'm not gonna attack with the dervish, I think, or I should. Let's attack, whatever. I'm gonna to go to 15 though. Hmm. Oh, look at this. Oh, man. This really hurts. Luckily, I got two stream of lives, so... I mean, if you would just... Okay, there's an artifact. That's something. Because if there's an artifact... Oh, I'm really not happy with this. Oh, this is not good. Um... Oh, this is really not good. I think I'm gonna play a stream of life for for four to go to 14, then I get another hit. Oh, this is really bad. Mm. I'm gonna do it. This game is not going the way I wanted it to. Oh, taking six. Oh, God. Taking six damage. At least I can gain a life back. Okay, a trike. That, okay, the strike is super good. The strike is a lifesaver. Let's play the trike. Uh, let's attack with the dervish. Okay, let's pass the turn. Oh man, this is bad. This is bad. I'm gonna drop to six. And remember, life loss is carried over here, so this <laughs> is really bad. I need to find a way to... Oh no, 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 don't do that, please. Okay, gotta gain a life first. Oh man, 
this is really bad. I mean, I can win. That's not the problem. The problem is that if I win, I'm going to take my life loss with me. Um... I think I need to play stream of life and then just done. Um, and then attack, put him on four. Uh, four and dervish. Oh, he can block, of course. Stupid. Um, stupid me. Oh no, this is not good. Now I've lost my living artifact, which was another way to get life. Oh man. Okay, you know what? Whatever. Whatever. If he's gonna blow it up, I can play Sheevan at least. He's gonna take the damage. Is he gonna use the disc? Yeah, he's gonna use the disc. Okay, fair enough. Uh, one. At least the unholy strength is gonna fall off, so that's something. Oh, he's not even regenerating. Okay, I'm lucky. I was expecting him to just regenerate. This would mean, oh, he's got another disc. Okay. Whatever, dude. Uh, I'm gonna attack with the 2-2. Two -two. I think what I need to do now is uh, play Ivory Tower and just try to get up back up to seven and try to gain some life because nine life this is a big problem on the other hand there's a treasure on the other side right so at least i'll get a treasure out of it look at this instantly activating it just to destroy a single ivory tower okay i didn't expect that uh let's play shiva This game, I mean, that Will of the Wisp with the Unholy Strength really like hit me for a lot of damage. Um, and now, come to think of it, I should probably I should probably have added more uh, tranquilities in the deck. That's kind of stu stupid that I didn't. But whatever, man. Um, let's attack with these two and then win the game, I guess. Ooh, Mishra's Workshop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. This could be... Let me just make a screenshot. This could be a nice screenshot for the episode. There we go. Okay. Uh, but now what? I've got nine measly life. I'm really in danger. And I only have, like, strong opponents, I think. I mean, I could go for the vampire, get the dice, but hmm, I'm gonna go for this dude. Vampire Lord, play first, please. Okay, let's see. What do I have? I've got a forest and a taiga. Also, that living artifact plan is not really working, is it? <laughs> It would have been better to just put Tranquility in instead of uh, Living Artifact. Like every creature is a problem because of the Bad Moon. No! Oh man, I needed that mana from the elf to cast. Oh god, I'm gonna get kicked out. I needed that mana to cast Untamed Wilds and then kind of get into four mana and cast Dancing Scimitar. I'm on five. Oh god. Carrion Ants. 
Um, oh, this is funny. Okay, at least I can play Giant Badger, and I think I can kill the Carrion Ants. I have to, or else I'm going to die. I have to play a blocker. Okay. I mean, I'm not dead yet, so... Let's block the carrying ants. Maybe he's not going to pump it. He is, okay. But hey, I'm still alive. I'm still alive! And now I can play Dancing Scimitar? Okay. I think I can stretch it one more turn. Please just don't attack. Oh, make it a zero two, sure. Look at the AI go, by the way. You're playing decent magic computer. That's really good to see. Um, let's do Untamed Wilds, because why not? Um, let's do a mountain. I mean, this is all meaningless because he's going to kill me next turn, but at least I can play out my cards, right? I can, can do what I can do. I think, I think last week I lost no battle at all, and now this week I'm just getting my ass kicked. Okay, I'm getting kicked out, and I lost the thicket. Okay. Hmm. But, I do have a Mishra's Workshop, which is pretty cool. Hey, a Mishra's Workshop. I should probably build something, because I've got so many artef artifacts. What other decks do I have again? Oh yeah, this is my quick deck. Funny. With one crawl worm in there, that's funny. Um, maybe I'm gonna play with this a little bit. Mm, let's just add these two ice storms. Oh, you probably can only play with three, right? Because it's a small deck. Yeah, da da. What other cards would work well in here? Script Sprites, the Asp, the Lunar Elves. I just need small stuff in this deck, right? Mm. The Apes are good, right? That helps. Maybe one Jaguar just for fun. Ah, uh, and then we've got deck three. Oh yeah, deck three is kind of interesting. This is Mono Green. With big creatures, right? Gaius Leech, yeah baby. Two deserts, ice storms, untamed wilds in there. Hmm. I feel let's just go back to deck one and try to take some stuff out. Like Ivory Towers can go again. Um, Stream of Lives can go again. Living, Ar I wasn't impressed with Living Artifact. Probably my fault, I shouldn't play it in that dungeon. Uh, I guess I could keep, keep a Desert Twister in there. Berserk needs to go back. Uh, oh yeah, Lightning Bolts need to go back for sure. Let's see, where are my Lightning Bolts at? Oh yeah, I took the Ice Storms out. Let's put those back. Lightning Bolts. Oh, and I took Force of Nature out. Let's put Force of Nature back. Um, let's see. This is kind of like the way it was, right? I think maybe next time I'm going to make like a new deck with artifacts. Let's first just check this out. Um, Tower of Whim, yeah, so that's gone. But where did I want to go? I want to go at the Mount of the Warrior King, right? Hornwell Glade. Let's try to see where the Glade is again. It was here somewhere. Oh, here, Hornwell Glade. So all I have to do is just go back up, go to the Glade. Um, what's the quest? Take a red 
Creature spell to the Keeper of Andor's Hole. Ooh. A red creature spell. Keepers of Andor's Hole. Where's Andor's Hole? Oh, here. Oh, I gotta go there anyway. Sure. I'll do that. Accept the quest. Hey, advice. Let's buy advice. Okay, any cards? I gotta sell. Nope. Let's leave this place. Ooh, shipwreck. What do we have? Ooh, an obsidian golem. A shapeshifter. Sure, I'll duel the shapeshifter. I'm gonna change the antidote. Play first. Ooh, that's a good hand, because I see a soul ring. Um, sure, go 07. So I've got Pyrotechnics, Ice Storm, Taiga, Soul Ring, Forced, Forced, Fireball. That's pretty nice. I can go Soul Ring, and the next turn I can play Ice Storm. That is pretty useful. Oh no! What What's up today with me getting my ass kicked? Constantly. Um... Go Ice Storm. Oh no, now I'm gonna get Mana Burn. Oh, it's like... Select target land. Oh, of course, it's not an Untamed Wilds. I thought it was an Untamed Wilds. Oh, now I'm gonna get Mana Burn. This is just, maybe today is just a day. <laughs> maybe I should stop playing right now, but... No, I'm not, I'm not. I'm just gonna continue. I'm not gonna give up. Uh, let's do Forest. I've got, I only have Direct Damage in hand. I mean, this shapeshifter is doing work. So it's de it's now dealt six damage in total, and for like the next seven turns, it's going to be a wall. So it's, it's pretty useful. Oh, look at this Hercules recall! Look at her go. Okay, respect. I love that. That's pretty cool synergy, right? With the. Um, with a plus three, plus three, uh, plus three. What's the name again of that card? Unstable Mutation. Very, very clever. Uh, ooh, more mana. Okay, that's awesome. I guess I'm just gonna, like, cast a really big fireball. Let's see if she's gonna animate the factory. I can play a bolt on a factory. Oh, two, two, okay. Hey, an ice storm. Okay. Um, let's first cast the ice storm. Not gonna do it on a factory because I want to play the bolt on a factory. Let's do pyrotechnics. Ooh, but then I'm gonna tap out for the technics. Do I want to do that? Um, yeah, let's do that, whatever. One. Two, one, two. I mean, the pyrotechnics is expensive to cast, but you almost always get some extra value out of it. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna take three. But next turn, wait till next turn. I'm gonna lightning bolt. Oh, wow, he's got two now. Oh, he's going to attack with both. Okay, so I've got a plan. I'm going to Lightning Bolt one. And I'm going to Berserk the other. What I love about, um, about killing a factory is that it's also taking away one of their lands. So it always feels like you get a little bit of extra value when you, when you kill a factory. But I'm on nine. She's on, she or he, the shapeshifter's on 20. Uh, it's a problem. My land destruction plan is not working, obviously, because she keeps casting stuff. Oh, God. Okay. Um, 
What? Man. The thing is, I don't want to cast a fireball on on just a primal clay. I'm gonna wait one more turn. Maybe I'm gonna regret it, but I'm just gonna wait one more turn. Okay, disintegrate, that's better. So let's play disintegrate. Or, wait, cancel. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. I can do this for eight? Nah, it's not gonna be enough. I thought maybe I can burn her out, but it's not gonna happen. Primal Clay, let's kill it. Pass the turn. I'm just not drawing any of my like firepower cards. Where's my Force of Nature? Where's my Shivan Dragon? Where's my Crower? Friend is Wizard, I love it. It's such a cool card. It's like he's holding a Disrupting Scepter and it's the Scepter is drawn by the same artist, has a similar background. And it's also three to activate. So I always kind of feel that those two are connected. Um, should I kill the apprentice wizard here? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Targets two. Done. One. I'm just really worried that maybe with, with five mana, he can like cast a uh, water elemental. Although I could have fireballed that water elemental, so. And now he's got, he's got a mana vault, so it doesn't matter. Hey, a single Lunar Elves, that's awesome. I feel maybe I've won too many matches last week and the computer is like getting me back for that. Oh, this is bad, my trike. Are you gonna kill my only water elves? Shall I play a second? Why not? I'm gonna play a second one. Just kill it, I'm fine. I've got nothing going on. Oh, I didn't put my, uh, my Sylvan back in my deck. I need to do that. There's the attack. Uh, pfft. If I take the damage, I'm dead, so I have to block. Because if I if I don't block, I take four, go to three, you can take the counters off and kill me. Oh, this is so bad. At least, as long as I have the Lanawer, I can... Oh, power struggle, okay. Maybe I'm gonna get the... Uh... No, 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 swap the elf for the trike. Am I losing? No, I'm not losing it. Am I losing life? No, right? Oh, let's play Lanor. I am, I lost a life. Why, why did I lose a life? Whatever. Oh, he used a strike. He used a strike counter on me. Um, I'm just gonna attack. Because I can block with the other one, whatever. Can you imagine if I'm going to get the tap mana vault and he's going to get, or she is going to get my soul ring? Oh God, I have to keep blocking. Sure. Okay, Dancing Scimitar, at least that's something that can block the trike. Super risky, because if he's gonna get the scimitar, I cannot block a 1-5 flyer, but whatever. Oh, this match, this match is driving me nuts. Oh, this is actually quite good. Um, let's do kill my own wanderer. Because now 
uh, the shapeshifter has no creatures. Ha 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 ha! Stupid shapeshifter. If you have no creatures, it means you cannot swap. I feel like I'm going now from a losing position into a winning, well, maybe winning position. Let's not get let's not get too optimistic too quickly, but it's really good I have to trike. And remember the trike can also kill itself, which is pretty cool. So as soon as he plays a creature. Oh no! Um I need to respond. There we go. Return to target player's hand, all artifacts in play he or she owns, so not controls, but owns. So there's also a way to potentially get that uh, Triskelion back. That's why I killed the trike. In case you're wondering. Okay, let's attack. I don't think I want to play out the factory because then maybe I'm going to give him a factory. Then again, the factory would have summoning sickness, so I'm gonna play it out, whatever. I'm gonna take the risk. Because I mean, the shapeshifter's on eight, so I wanna put some pressure on. This sound effect. Somebody actually explained how I can like change the sound effects and stuff, but I just, I guess I just need to find a moment. I'm thinking about maybe when I do a season three, if I do one, to maybe like, Add alternative art and funny pictures, maybe. I don't know. Oh no, this is good. This is a strong creature. Um, okay. Oh, fireball. Hey, hey. That's great. Yeah, done. I'm just happy with the fireball because I just want to finish this. Flying, sure, give it flying then. That's good, good for you. Hey, winning. Uh, oh, I can take a dungeon crew. Sure, take the dungeon crew. Nice. Ooh, I'm getting, am I getting that next turn? That would be sweet. Oh, the black castle. Oh no, the black castle. And there's another um, dungeon. Let's see, which one is that? Let's have a look. Soul Chant Monastery with Felden's Cane and Copy Artifact. One deck for all duels, life loss carried over. Oh, Power Struggle, never mind. Never mind, I'm not I'm not ready for the Power Struggle dungeons yet. Uh, but my deck, my deck needs some serious checking. Ah, uh, I need to think about my deck. Okay, let's first put the Sylvan back in there. Okay, uh, let's have a look. Often Troll, Shivan, Pyrotechnics, Fireball, Disintegrate, Lightning Bolt. Whirling Dervish can go out again. Thicket, Lanawa. Yeah, I mean, Thicket could go out again. Let's see, Lanawa, Spider, Badger. Funny Giant, Spider, Giant, Badger. Force of Nature, Cockatrice, Crawl Worm, Untamed Wilds, Ice Storm, Desert Twister. Need a desert twister. Are there any good red cards? Mm -hmm. Oh, and of course, I need to put back the uh, city of brasses. That's stupid. Should I play a crumble? Tranquility is actually quite good in this list because I'm. I need to play at least one tranquility. Mm. Okay, uh, then I gotta do a forest gone, a mountain gone. Put two city of brasses back in. Okay, uh, north to Andor's Hole, okay. That's over here, okay. Leave the village, onwards to Andor's Hole. Oh man, Lord of Fate. Duel the Lord of Fates. Yeah, I'm so close to the Black Castle now. Play first. 
do all the law to fate. Okay. Um, do I want to keep this? I can, I can keep it. Start to duel. I'm fine. What? Black Knight? Why? Why are you starting with the Black Knight? Why? I'm not in the... Ca I know you're close to the Black Castle, but I'm not in... <sighs> oh, yeah, of course. Sure. No, make it a 4-3. Make it a 4-3. Oh, God. I was pretty confident until, you know, this point. Um... Let's see, I gotta go factory and just untamed wilds next turn and just go fireball on the knight, hoping that he's not gonna like play a bad moon or anything. And remember, the black knight also has first strike, so. <sighs> Very cool flavor text, by the way. I know I say that often, but again, it's true for this one. Um, I could also go Ice Storm. Maybe that's better. Because I've got enough mana next turn anyway to go Fireball. Uh, let's think about it. I could go Plains or Swamp. I, I think I'm going to go Swamp. I kind of feel like he's got more like dangerous black creatures. Okay, got another swamp, whatever. I'm still kind of setting you back. I think Unholy Strength is a little bit underestimated. Like, I know, it, again, it's something I say all the time, but the thing is, yes, it's an enchant creature, so you're, you're setting yourself up for two for one. On the other hand, if your opponent doesn't have the answer, he's got a huge problem. And if you time it right, you have a guaranteed extra two points of damage, right? So you already have that value coming in. Um, let's just strip. Let's go fire. Amount of damage done to each star with three. Okay. I'm always like, whenever I cast a fire, I'm like, hopefully it's just gonna work. Hopefully it's gonna work out. Sure, man, get it back. Now it's a one two. Now it's fine. It's a one two. Hopefully I find a land to cast Cockatrice. If I don't, I can do Untamed Wilds. Exactly, so I'm not just gonna go Untamed Wilds. Gonna find the forest. Gonna pass the turn. And also now I've got five mana. I can also play Pyrotechnics, which is quite good. Eleven. I want to. I, I now really want to make like a green Tron old school deck with that Mishra's Workshop. Oh, Drudge Skeleton. Yucky. But the good news is he doesn't have black to regenerate it. So I think I'm going to go for Pyrotechnics. One damage. One and two damage. And the last damage here to my friend. Bye bye. Cleaned up the board. I'm really liking Pyrotechnics. It's also really good like second main after your combat step. Because the damage of course stays on the creatures until the cleanup step. So you can kind of kill some more creatures, get more value. Pretty long games today I feel by the way. Oh, Sarah Angel, yeah, that's good. Um, so I have a few options. I could go Fireball, but I think we're going to go Cockatrice. Also because I have two Cockatrices. So if he attacks with Angel, I'm just going to trade. That's fine. If not, the next turn I'm going to attack with Cockatrice to see if he wants to trade. If not, it's fine because then I play another Cockatrice. So no need to Fireball. Not now at least. Hmm. Ooh, another one. Okay, okay. Oh, look at this library. Um, you know, the, the right thing to do now is actually nothing because you've got the library. Um, and maybe he's not going to attack because he doesn't want to trade. I think I'm just going to cast a second cockatrice though. I don't want to take the risk to drop 
further down. I could play library and then have enough mana for trike, but I'm gonna try to kind of save up, I think. I'm just gonna, let's just, let's just see what he does. Dark Ritual, uh-oh. Oh no, well actually this doesn't matter. Normally it would be oh no, maybe, but for the Cockatrice it doesn't matter. I do like this, Castle uh, Sarah Angel is pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna pass the turn. I'm not gonna do anything. I wanna get that Loa ac action going. Which is gonna take three more turns. So maybe I'm gonna regret this, but whatever. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm fine, I'm fine with the standstill, I'm fine. Okay, now I've got seven. One last turn. Oh, this is gonna be glorious. Draw card number eight, drop Loa, uh, go back up to eight. Disintegrate something away or play a trike. It's both good. Ooh, a drudge, okay. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna go library. Let's draw a card. Ah, Berserk, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna cast Untamed Wilds. Untamed Wilds. Uh, I'm just gonna go for Forest. What else? I could play Giant Badger, but I think I'm just gonna pass turn. I wonder if this Lola kind of triggers my opponent to attack with everything, or at least with the two Sarahs. I guess the answer is no. Uh, let's draw a card. Okay, so I'm gonna play Mountain. Eight cards in hand. Uh, let's play Trike. <laughs> Done. I think maybe next turn. It could be tempting to attack with just one Cockatrice, see what he does. Let's use the library again. Okay, let's go Taiga. Ooh, what to do, what to do. Uh, I'm gonna attack with the cockatrice. Let's see what's gonna happen. Ooh, he's gonna take the damage, okay. I'm gonna play this integrate. Can I play it for six, two, four, seven even, okay. Uh, this integrate one, two, three, four, five, six. Done. There we go. And then I'm going to strip. Uh, I think I'm going to strip a black. I guess he wants black mana to regenerate. Done. And I'm going to pass turn. Oh, Pestilence! Oh, that's actually a problem. Okay. Okay, that's an interesting card, Pestilence. That that changes that changes things a little bit. Like I've got, I feel like I got to hurry. Um, let me try. Let me use library first. Okay, Soul Ring. That's not too bad. Um, I can go strip. Can go soaring. Mm. 
Let me attack. Let's see what's going to happen. Mm, I think I'm going to fireball for six. Targets one. Let's hope I did it right. Nice. Um, I think I'm also going to strip another swamp. And I could kill a drudge here. Um, you know what? I'm not going to. I'm going to pass. Ooh, the Vultures is getting counters. Such a funny ability. I wish that the carry-on counters would just be permanent. Again, it's something I think I've said a million times, but every time I see that card, I'm like, oh, I wish it would be permanent counters. Okay, everything gets a damage. Um, he only has one more Swamp left. That's interesting. Uh, wait, I used Library first. No, okay, I'll just have to play something out, it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll first do Mountain and then we'll draw a card. Okay, so how many cards do I have then? Six? Oh, okay, I guess I made a mistake. Uh, should I go off the plan? I could also go off the plan. Or I could play, I'm just gonna play Gemini Totem and I can draw a card anyway. Um, let's attack with one cockatrice. Mm. Pass turn. Now the Tranquility would be handy. Okay, so one of the things I can do now is do one, and two, and I can kill a Drudge. Now let's draw a card. Let's take a turn. Hey, card number seven, let's draw a card. Oh, let's have a look, shall we? We're going to do Taiga. Let's attack with both. Of course, a healing soul. So annoying. Uh, okay, now I'm going to cast Giant Spider, I think. Yeah, let's do Giant Spider. Um, I think I have enough mana to do Untamed Wilds and to draw a card. Yeah, I think I have enough. Forest, one green, and two. Do another Forest. Let's use Gem Detone. Pass the turn. Oh, this game's this game's taking long, by the way. <laughs> Only long games today, right? Am I right? I think a lot of long games. Okay, everybody taking damage. Draw a card for turn. Let's do the library thing. Ooh, a Shivan Dragon. That is sweet. Um, I guess I should go, just go Shivan. Factory. Let's first attack. Let's attack first. I'm also going to attack with a spider. Ooh. 
Okay, this is what I was hoping for, because now I can kill it. Uh, let's play the shield. Um, let's, if I use this, let's see, one, two, and boom, let's draw a card. Then play Giant Badger. Okay. I kind of feel that next turn is going to be the last turn, right? I'm just going to attack with everything. I also have some factories in a pile of lands over there. Another castle. Oh man, I just, I do love, I, I just love the simplicity of these decks, like Castle Pestilence. That works. Yes, true. And the fact that it's a knight, it's very, very much on flavor. I really love that about the AI. Okay, but first things first. Um, you know what? I've got Berserk, so I just don't need to think that much. I can just attack with this one. Let's end it in style. Let's end it in style. You know what? This 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 is going to be our screenshot. You know, we want to we want to end it in style. I love it. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Twenty two damage. Bam! Oh, a healing salt. Is he going to survive? No. Take so much damage. Of course not. You're a fearsome wizardess. Am I? I thought I was a wizard. I get a card of any choice? That is so cool. Um, what do I need? Let's go to red. Um, or green, I could maybe do another Sylvan. Is there something I need? Um, it's so hard, like all of a sudden you get this choice, just pick any card you want. Um, Drop of Honey could be interesting to get another one. Or, oh yeah, I could get um, another trike. I think I'm gonna get trike number four. Okay, let's have a look, where am I? Andor's Hole, okay. I'm really close to Andor's Hole, but I'm gonna call it a day because we're already way over the hour. Uh, I would like to thank you for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, uh, the channel where we talk old school magic. And uh, before you go, please take a moment to like, share, and comment. All these things are free and YouTube loves that stuff. Uh, and of course, if you're not a patron yet of the channel, please consider becoming one. Check out patreon.com slash Timmy Talks and find out how you can help me to continue making this content for you. And the cool thing is if you become a patron, your name may appear in the end scroll. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Somebody can see.